this happened a little over a century. In the near Palani Hills, which is the now very famous pilgrimage for devotees of Muruga or Kartikeya. There was a sage who came near Palani, spent a certain amount of time, he went into very deep states of samadhi. Because people saw him in states that they had never seen before, people started gathering and at one point, more people started gathering around this sage than going to the temple. So naturally there was a certain amount of uh, disturbance in that society. So uh, some people conspired and they wanted to somehow see that this sage is put away. So they complained one day to the local like panchayat kind of setup. And they said, he is... he is in a... in a state of sacrilege because they found him during morning... early morning time when he went for defecation, at that time he was uttering God's name <laughs> To put it very simply, he was shitting and saying Shiva at the same time. Somebody got offended by this. So they complained and they said he must be punished. He is causing a sacrilege. So they called him for an enquiry. He went and sat there. Then they asked, is it true that you are uttering the holy name during unholy times? <laughs> he said nothing. His mouth was closed, he said nothing. They questioned him again and again, he said nothing. Then they're about to meet out a punishment, some kind of punishment. All they wanted was to have him banished from that place. But then something happened which unnerved all of them. He simply sat there with his mouth closed but everybody started hearing the reverb of Shambho, loud and clear. He didn't say a thing, mouth is closed, not saying a thing, but his very body started reverberating Shambho. After that, they left him alone. In many ways, this sage <laughs> And this one sound, Shambho, has been the basis of everything we have done here and we will continue to do here. Our life and our way to go beyond life will be this.